So it's time. Um, I'm ready. I'm about to leave the house and go to the airport. God bless you, pray Jesus. In Jesus' name, in thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. My name is Danielle Atakra and I was born in the UK. My parents are originally from Ghana, a place in West Africa. Since mass migration in 1989, Africans continuously move and travel to Europe and other places in the world for better opportunities, experiences. Yes, girl, give back. Abla, 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 Abla. And they believe that Africa is not good enough for their survival. What if all Africans went back home with their inventions, ideas, talents, skills, passions, power and education? Wouldn't Africa that is undeveloped not rise again? If Africa is undeveloped, who are to blame? Today I'm going back to Africa, a place where my ancestors are from, my parents are from, and I am from. I am an African with intense passion for holistic development and I am taking back this attribute to Africa. Ghana, a rich and powerful land located in West Africa. This was the first African nation to gain independence from a colonial power. Ghana has been ranked one of the most peaceful countries in Africa. It is blessed with the wealth of natural resources and beautiful landmarks. Ghana now serves as a hub attracting investments and businesses, ongoing holistic development and improvement. Ghana continues being the light for West Africa and with the support from its people worldwide, it would eventually become a much more beautiful, developed and proud nation. As a diaspora, one may ask, where do you start upon return? You start by tapping into your culture, reminding yourself that this is home. There is no better place than home. With my education and passion for holistic development, I founded a non-profit organisation in this very land. And today, you will follow me as I visit one of the communities I am currently working with, referred to as Jamestown. This is Ben and Vincent, two men who were born in Ghana and grew up in Jamestown. Before I landed in Ghana, I had been communicating with them about my projects, initiatives and plan for their community. Today they'll be taking me around. These young boys are all part of my sports development project, a project focused on enhancing their skills, abilities and talents. I have organised a sports festival which will be taking place in a few days to launch this sports project. This will be the first ever sports project hosted and carried out in their town. We are now going to visit the mothers and grandmothers of these young children to inform them of my arrival and why I'm here.
I decided to pay a visit to where the young children lived. This is their home. Each and every child and youth in my development project all sleep in this small congested space. In total, there are 65 of them. The family were very friendly, very welcoming, and very happy to see me there. It is now time for me to see the chief in the town. It is very important for me to pay my respects and visit the chiefs whenever I arrive. The room was a bit tight only because the chief had designed the room as a boxing gym as his son was training to fight back in the UK, which he had explained. Vincent introduced myself to the chief and then asked me to explain my upcoming events and projects in their community. Um, one of our first big events that we're going to be doing for young boys. Um, sports is a big thing here, and boxing, we have to see the talented boys. So we're doing the sports festival to kind of show, you know, show Ghana that you know, Jamestown is where it happens. This is where the young players are. This is where the talent is. So we're going to start off with the, the sports festival. That's just the beginning. On Friday, I'm doing a women's project with the girls, young girls who um, I want to help with their careers so I can get, connect them to different organizations in Ghana, get them work, you know, so, so they can start up their career and become big leaders. And the ultimate long goal is to build a community center in Jamestown. That's the main thing I want to do, build a facility that everyone can access. So not just young people, adults, elderly, everybody that can access that facility. So that's the main, the main goal. So it's a, it's a lot that I want to do with the community and that's the main reason why I'm here to show you guys, introduce myself. Not that I'm just speaking because um, my colleagues have come here to speak to you guys but it's the first time I'm actually coming to also you know, show you. So that's what I'm saying.
Today I'm hosting a class where we are speaking about the internal factors contributing to the problems in their community. I had over 50 people attend the class. I also distributed brand new clothes to each and every individual that attended. Today is the day, their first ever sports festival, an event to launch their brand new development project and schemes coming to their community. We must all stand and act. We may have gaps, but we have people bigger than those gaps. Let's stand and take action. Be a body that functions together. And with time, we will grow. Rome was not built in one day, and Africans will conquer and rise one day. I am a Ghanaian and African diaspora. <laughs>